ABC 7 is committed to helping make the Bay Area an even better place to live. Our ABC 7 Climate Watch team gives you expert insight to understand and navigate the impact of our changing climate. And right now, researchers are watching a weather pattern in the Pacific that's become a real force in recent years that could affect future forecasts. Spencer Christian here now with the details. Spencer. All right, Larry. Well, it's a fact uh, that not only has influenced the weather that arrives off our coast, but something else, juvenile white sharks. But right now we've seen about 10 of these what appears to be juvenile white sharks in the area. For swimmers and surfers in parts of Southern California, juvenile white sharks are becoming almost familiar companions, sometimes spotted in large groups along beaches that are part of a warm water nursery habitat stretching up from Mexico. From the spring into the late fall, it's every single day. They could be aggregating at a very busy public beach and they just don't seem to care. Chris Lowe directs the shark lab at California State University Long Beach where he's monitored the juvenile nurseries for years but now much of his focus is shifting north after a study led by the Monterey Bay Aquarium and released earlier this year. In it, Professor Lowe and his colleagues documented a startling migration, increasing numbers of juvenile great whites now populating areas as far north as Monterey Bay. And that particular part of Monterey Bay is known to be the warmest part, and, and that is probably acting as a thermal refuge. That's one of the things that's drawing them there. They presume it's related to climate change, and it is easy to make that relationship because there is an elevated sea surface temperature. John McCosker of the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco believes water temperature may be only part of the equation, the but for the past several years, it's been the most intriguing part. This great difference is going to be felt more and more commonly at Shark Alley and the places the surfers like to surf. The question now, how long is the shift likely to last? And might greater numbers of juvenile great whites move even closer to the Bay Area? The answer may hinge on a specific type of weather event, masses of warm water which can raise temperatures along our coast by at least several degrees Fahrenheit, now popularly named blobs, after a major ocean heat event in 2013 and 14. Now, NOAA actually describes these blobs as marine heat waves, and they're believed to be caused by deviations in wind circulation, ocean currents, and sea surface temperatures. Now, one recent blob actually raised west coast sea surface temperatures by nearly five degrees Fahrenheit. And several recent encounters with surfers and divers may preview the challenges of a northward migration if the marine heat waves or rising ocean temperatures do create a lasting path Experts believe those of us in Northern California may have to adjust to living in closer quarters with juvenile sharks. If water temperatures continue to warm the way they are, then we might expect to see these nurseries get pushed further and further north. And white sharks showing up in places where people haven't historically seen them, mainly because the habitat is conducive. How conducive remains to be seen and could depend on global factors experts are still struggling to fully understand. Now, there have been some indications pointing to another possible blob event building in the northern Pacific. Researchers say we spoke with say the jury's still out on what it will ultimately do. But what's really key here is understanding whether these marine heat waves are now becoming cyclical, a, a new normal, if you will, and if we need to keep monitoring them in the way that we do cycles like El Nino. Yeah. Larry? Spencer, five degrees is a lot, though, that's, right? Uh, it's a huge, that's a huge and significant factor uh, in terms of warming ocean waters and how it affects you know, the, our overall Everything. weather patterns, our, our climate, uh, marine life, uh, and the survivability of certain forms of marine life. It's, it's really critical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something definitely to keep an eye on. Spencer, yep. thank you.